uh, 3rd of October 2024 and we've just arrived at Birds of Paradise in um, Hale in Cornwall. Not that you can see it that great because of the cage, but that's a red-billed chuff, uh, native to Cornwall, but they were nearly extinct in when died in 1970. They were extinct in 70 around Cornwall. Right, yeah. Where do we go? Around that way. So apparently the red-billed chuff, as I just said, was native to Cornwall, but um, in, in the 1970s they became extinct. And then in 2001, three birds returned to Cornwall. All right, let's have a wander. Incidentally, they're uh, Carib Caribbean uh, flamingos. Oh, what happened there? I hope it comes out. Well, I know that you can see two up there here, but I mean, <laughs> it's, you're wanting them in flight, really, isn't it? Certainly a hell of a variety of uh, birds here to see, but of course a great deal of them are in these kind of cages, so not so easy to video.
and I can see this lady that's down here, so you have this Lauren down here, and we also have this mama. Mm -hmm. So this mama, she is mm -hmm. not going to I'll do a bit of video for him, but it doesn't really look so good, does it, with these cages? So many different varieties of birds on the wheel. You tell him. <laughs> Healthy, don't they? Yeah, no more action for me than uh, the way it's, <laughs> it's stand on one leg, the other leg. Yeah. Must... gets the twitches look. <laughs> yeah. Mind you, it's pleasant just sitting here in the sunshine watching yeah. these. They're not the most uh, energetic of um, no. species, are they? <laughs> oh, yeah. Got his leg going again, look. <laughs> yeah. with the others in here at the moment. Mm. <laughs> going to be feeding the parrots apparently. Yeah, I'm going to 
One next to you, look. Hold him up, Diane. I've never seen the feeding at one of these places like this before where they just just interact and go mad. Some of them must be quite nasty because there's a few of them that have really been attacked and had their feathers all around their necks taken off. <laughs> I think that's more than enough. I just can't seem to stop videoing them. Look at you, to get this close, it's unreal. I really must stop videoing now. <laughs> We're actually inside the cage for the lorikeet feeding session. Um, it's a great interactive experience and if you come here and you've got children they will absolutely love it. You can buy the nectar, £1.50 a pot and uh, well, just watch the video. Parrot Jungle Fun Farm. Let's see what this might be. How long Aren't their beaks beautiful? are. Aren't you beautiful? So from left to right, you've got the Caribbean flamingo. Then the second one, that's the, the obviously this one. Then that's the Stanley crane. That is a wattled crane. That is an emu. That's a rear, Humboldt's penguin, and a Gen 2 penguin. Mm. Mm. Diane. Diane, recommended route this way. I'll, I'll video the guinea pigs for Tilly and Jenny. Any other there? Yeah, one well, was mine. He's 
Have you been put into solitary confinement, you poor old thing? You don't sound good. <laughs> well, <laughs> Sings about as well as I do, fella. <laughs> oh, well, we see them better from around there. Should we do that first then? Yeah, the Scarlet Macaw. That flew right over my head earlier, and unfortunately, I didn't catch it. Oh, there, look, look, look. Oh, that's it. Yeah, they come, they come in and out, and they just put themselves back into their cage. Oh, they're in there. Hang on, are they coming out again? Yeah, there's one up there, look. Funny, just coming out, look. Yeah, I was rather hoping they might fly. There's two in there, yeah, look. Yeah. yeah, I know, there's one. Come on, you the... lot, come out. Come on, I'm down, look. Yep, yeah. I was never ready, that's the trouble. When they flew over, I had to phone on something else. There you go. Blue throated macaws, not that you can see them very well. He's, he's and the sun. a green, great green macaw over there, which you can't see very well either. Oh, that one just flew, needless to say. Oh, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Come on, guys, take off for me. <laughs> no, you're going to go back in, are you? You could do it. They can be in cure, can they? I mean, the colours are just fantastic, aren't they? These are put. Paul posted flowers this morning. These are put on, on, on his uh, Facebook, and these have put those colours to shine. <laughs> Yeah. Come on guys, let's have some wing action. Yeah. Yeah. Well let's go around that way, maybe we'll get better. Yeah, I'm just coming. Yeah, I'm just coming. Oh, my. Hello, you lot. Come on. Come down. Come on. Oh, look at you beauties. Hello. Hello. Aren't you gorgeous? No, no fighting. What you got there? The one thing that's good about this place is that, particularly with some of these, you get so close to them. Hello. And like the feeding with the parrots earlier there. I mean, that was... You can have a lot of flies, can't you? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> why it waddles up there, look. They look like naughty children, don't you? You look like naughty children. Hello. <laughs> look at you. Oh, they just come down to me. Okay, guys. I think I've really overdone it with you fellas. Oh, is it? <laughs> I was hoping to catch some really good flying, but... Uh...
There's another one. Hey, hello. Hello. I think this could turn out to be the best place I've been to to see birds like this. Oh, look at you showing off. Hello. Are you showing off? Are you showing off your feathers? <laughs> Are you? Yeah. Hello. 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 Aren't you gorgeous? You're getting this all on camera. What I'm saying. Hello. Mm. Hello, Come on. Oh, it's the detail. Could you... Do you hold your finger up? Sometimes they're trying to you. Mm. Come on, buddy. This one's going to be brave enough. Hello. Oh, blimey, where's it gone? <laughs> well, the trouble is you have to zoom in with, with, with them. I mean, it's not like it's a cracking camera, it's just a phone. You have to zoom in and then you haven't got a lot of room left on the screen when they move off to try and catch up. <laughs> what are these ones? Uh, Hang on, they are a purple crested Toretto, if that's how you pronounce it. Oh, thank you for that. <laughs> These purple crested T O U R A C O Toretto, I guess. Yeah, you're a bit of a you're a bit of a diva, aren't you? Hey, eh? are you a bit of a diva? There are others here, but they seem to be... That was a hooded parrot that um, I tried to get flying just now. Oh, yeah. Not at all camera shy, is it? <laughs> yeah. Hang on, I'm trying to... Oh. I suppose you're going to remain most of you. Yeah. yeah, so am I loving the sun as it happens. So these are called sun planure. Um, they're an endangered species. No, oh, if you're happy sitting there, sit there. I'll be back in a minute. These are palm cockatoos, but um, of course they're again they're in the cage, so you don't see them quite so easy. Yeah. Yeah, I must take this jacket off and cook him. Gotta say, it's a it's a lovely little park. It's mainly birds, obviously. There's a little bit of other wildlife, but I've never seen so many species of birds. But what has been really good is there are places where you can really, really go in and and actually interact and be with the birds. That is great. There is a cafe here, and there's also a play area for little kids, or you know. I suppose junior school age children with slides and all that sort of thing. So picnic areas. It's, uh, it's it's a lovely place. You see this one up in here then, Diane? Yeah. So the, the the only problem is with the ones in the in the cages. It's difficult if you want to photograph or view but the interaction in those other places was brilliant. 
I've got the sun in my eyes, so and it's in a cage, so it's probably not going to show up. But if, if you can see that, because I can't see it from the sun at the moment, that is a golden eagle. It's also um, quite a pretty place to walk around. I think it's fairly, fairly easy access for, for people with walking difficulties or anything like that. And, and I always love it when you've got nice, lots of nice little benches and seats so you can, you can uh, find somewhere in the sunshine and just sit back and enjoy it. <sighs> Very nice. I better catch up with Diane. She's running off and shouting at me. Oh, where are you going? Where are you? <laughs> and there's your little train ride that you can do put your children on. <laughs> I like the way that uh, so many of the birds here, Diane, have access to the cage and access to freedom, as it were. So they can come out, fly around, go back in when they're fed up. A bit like that little aviary outside the Rubicon Palace in Playa Blanca in Lanzarote. That, that was a sign. Where are they coming from? I can't... I can... I think I might have gotten, but I'm not sure. <laughs>